Here's a store with three products, a box with no SKU, a hoodie with variations in small and large, and finally a simple OPMC t-shirt. We'll test each of these as single item orders. First, we start with the simple t-shirt product. This is a simple product with a SKU. Add this to the cart and fill out the order details. To confirm this, view the order in WooCommerce. Then go to your Odoo dashboard and confirm the order is synced. Next, we'll test an order with our variable product. Our hoodie comes in two sizes, small and large. First, we'll select the large option. As before, put this in your cart and proceed to checkout. Again, we review the order in the WooCommerce backend and then check Odoo. For this specific order, we can see there was some issue and therefore the order is not synced in Odoo. For our variable product, we'll try syncing this again by selecting the small hoodie option. Navigate to the page, select the hoodie and proceed to checkout. You can see here when we check in WooCommerce and Odoo, the latest order is synced. Finally, we'll test an order with the OPMC box. The OPMC box is a product with no SKU. Since this is used as an ID field by the plugin, any order which does not include this will not be included. Select the box and add it to your cart. Next, proceed to checkout. Finally, check your WooCommerce dashboard and Odoo dashboard to see if the order syncs. As expected, the order does not sync since the product within the order does not contain an SKU. Here, we'll review the products used in this tutorial to better understand the setup and configuration of each. Here you can see our hoodie is set up as a variable product. There is two variations and each of these have their own SKUs, images, and prices. As you can see here, this product with a small variation was successful with syncing, but the large variation was not. However, both appear to be configured correctly.